Welcome back. And um, this time I'm going to um, demonstrate about the uh, buffers readers and buffers writers. So um, we already learned before. If we were working with um, byte one by one, it's going to be slow. Then, uh, um, 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 uh, in order to um, faster the performance of uh, this I/O, we we're going to use buffers. What that means? We're going to use buffer. I'm going to give this example. Um, this one, let's say, is uh, your home. Okay, this one is drawer. Let's say it's just this. Um, let's say just don't say drawer home. This one is one bus station. Okay, this one is one bus station. Okay, please. This one is one bus station. And you're going to uh, move to uh, another bus station. Okay, bus station. And um, um, one of the one of the way to travel from this one to this one is that you're going to have some devices and that devices is going to so it's going to be able to carry one person at a time okay one person at a time so you have some devices the device is going to carry one person at a time from this destination to this destination and it's, it's very um, slow if you're going to work with one byte at a time. So the idea is we're going to have a device which is a buffer. Uh, it's just like a bus. Okay, it is just like a bus. It is just like a bus. Okay, it is a bus like this. Okay. And you know, just sorry, just let's say this bus. And for this bus, you know, instead of moving from one station to another station, you know, this device can instead of uh, carry one uh, person you can carry several of the people at the same time let's say 40 people at the same time okay let's just um, say it's, you can carry about 40 people at the time from one bus station to another bus station in, in that case that you are using uh, the bus and that bus is called a buffer this buffer can store several bytes at the same time instead of one byte it's going to improve the performance okay it's going to improve the performance from this place to this place okay now one special thing about this buffer thing is one special thing about this buffer thing is um, 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 uh, the buffer if you use the um, um, buffer to write data uh, you have to remember to flush okay to have to remember to flush the buffer what does that mean um, flush to, to flush the buffer so let's say I have a bus here okay I have a bus here and this bus can contain about 40 people like I explained before 40 people but I don't have that many people I only have uh, let's say um, um, uh, 20 people to, to, to carry okay 20 people to carry okay but the bus won't refuse to move from this station to this station because it's not have it's not having enough it's not phone yet okay but you don't have more data to uh, to, to carry. In this case, you're going to use the flash function to tell the bus to move. Okay, you just go, just flash, just give the data to the hard disk, even though uh, the buffer is not full yet. Okay, but in uh, normal case, if the buffer is full, for sure it's going to travel from source to destination. But the buffer is not full, and you don't have uh, any data more to uh, to write. The bus will not move. And in order to force it to move, you're going to use the flash method in order to force this bus to move from source to destination. Remember this class function, otherwise your data is not going to be written down there. Okay, that one is the meaning of the buffers. And right now I'm going to use Java in order to um, demonstrate about that buffer thing. So we're going to create a new um, um, things, which is uh, um, buffers. Okay, um, buffers input um, um, output stream. Buffers input output stream. Okay, demo. So uh, this buffer input output stream anyway anyway it is it, a stream it's using the stream anyway okay it's using the stream anyway to read and write data uh, from source or destination but right now you want to make use of the buffers okay buffers so so let's say um, uh, in this case I'm, I I already prepare for buffer um, um, input stream. 
Okay, so um, I already prepare on my computer a file, a, a kind of uh, somehow reasonably uh, large. That file is about a four megabytes to um, um, show you the meaning of buffers. So I'm going to copy this file. But before that, I create a yep, I already create first. I copy that file and I'm putting it into I'm putting it into the Buffers I.O. right? This one I'm putting it into this file, okay? In your project folder. So I'm going to create an um, um, input stream is equal to new input stream. No, file input stream because we are reading from file in this case. File input stream, you can read from other sources, but in this time I'm reading from file. That file is J, um, um, jbe dot, um, zip, okay? Uh, um, we're going to import this. Um, input stream and you're going to surround statement with try catch and then to demonstrate um, uh, the time of running this one we're going to just make a while loop where is dot available as long as we we'll still have available read data we're going to take i add dot read and this one we're going to just read for nothing okay uh, this available creator than zero just read it for nothing we're going to add it catch clause just read it only you know what for you know read to display or read to do whatever you know you don't know but in this case I do know that I need to read okay read for what it depends on your um, requirement but in this case I know that I need to read the data from this uh, JBE uh, files it's about four megabytes and I want to show the time of starting time I'm going to count the starting time and the ending time of this read so I'm going to create um, dates D equal to new control space dates this one is going to give me the time at the start time start time then i'm going to at the end i want to create another date object which is n equal to new um, date this one going to give me the end time and i'm going to convert them into long um, um, in form of milliseconds uh, milliseconds equal to the um, um, end time dot two no get time it's going to convert the time into milliseconds minus the sorry this one minus the uh, start time dot get times so you will have the end time minus the start time in form of milliseconds. You're going to display uh, time taken um, is, you know, this, the time taken is going to be in form of milliseconds. Okay, this one is milliseconds. If you run this one, if you run this one, okay, we'll wait for a while. Okay, we'll wait for a while. And if you run this one using normal input stream, okay, using normal input stream you can see the um, time is about the time is about um, nine seconds okay it's nine thousand milliseconds so it's about nine point one seconds so that one is if you're using input stream but how if we use the buffers so we're going to now we're going to use buffers input stream okay bis this buffer input stream is going to make use of um, we're going to create new buffer input stream and this buffer input stream is going to make use of this input stream anyway but but again it has a buffer so it's going to be faster so if we use this buffer input stream and this one if we use buffer input stream to read use buffer input stream to read okay and we're going to check the um, start time and end time it was it was it was nine seconds something and if you run this time we we'll check how many seconds are there for this one Okay, so if you run this one using the buffer, so it's worth about 4.5, uh, 4 seconds something, 4.5 seconds, 4.6 seconds something. So it's about half of it. It's about half of it. So you will see the performance of buffers input stream or making use of a buffers if, if you, you um, using um, buffers. Okay, so you know, similarly, you can have um, um, upper stream. OS, you know, from some file output stream, and you will also have the buffers output stream. This one will help you. Um, um, this one will help you. Okay, new buffer output stream from the OS over there. Okay, this one equal to some file output stream and so on and so forth. This one will help you to write your data faster. Okay, this one will help you to write your data faster. You can just um, test and write some data. Let's say after reading this data, you'll be able to write the data out to some other files. But this one, um, I think it's, it's already uh, demonstrates the ideas about um, why should you use some buffers, okay, buffers for input and output stream.